I said we're here to recognize the finalists today and to visit with them, but I kind of, that's not the total reason. We're really here to announce that your project, Ann Hopkins Breaking the Glass Ceiling in Employment, is the second prize winner nationally of the 2020 Discovery Award, and you will receive a $2,000 prize. Wanted you to know that. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. And Hopkins really struck me because it was around the same time, and then she, her case was all the way. She fought it in lower cases for seven years until it was taken up by the Supreme Court. And her perseverance on this specific topic really inspired me. With her bravery, she was able to go out and actually fight her case, not just for her own partnership or her own, like, her own merit, but just for everybody else, every other female in the work professions, working for female rights and fighting sex uh, stereotyping and gender stereotyping in the workplace. With every issue in the world, whether that's like um, gender stereotyping, you know, women's rights or just, you know, poverty, all, all these other things, there are people's faces we associate with those issues. But behind all of that, there are so many other people who have done so much more, have done just as much, but they're not recognized because maybe they're not as popular or for whatever other reasons. And, you know, women's rights is like, yeah, we got women ourselves, like it's such an important part of our life. And to recognize her and to be able to research about her was just, it was really eye-opening. Just telling Anne Hawkins' story and how um, she is so very little, she has very little recognition for her work and all she did uh, during her time through the case and even, even working at Price Waterhouse. And I just enjoyed and really liked the part that I got to tell her story even though she's passed away, and bring recognition and to her story and all she has done for a woman in the workplace. Like, there's so many women out there today who are like kind of um, going against our um, gender norms or the gender norms set for women. And to see someone like that and research about her was just so interesting to me. These girls are amazing. They are, every year they come up with a different research project that they want to pursue. And they pursue it wholeheartedly um, without really uh, much, much from us. They, they, they take a topic and they run with it. And when they told me that they wanted to research Ann Hopkins, I at first was a little bit worried, remember, because there wasn't a lot out there on her. They really had to dig. They had to go into archives and, um, and speak to people and get them to release their papers so that they could read. There wasn't a lot of video footage. They wanted to make a documentary. Grace is our, our resident documentarian. Like she, from the time she was in sixth grade, she's been making movies for us uh, here, you know, at the middle school. And she, um, and, and they, they really felt that there was a story to be told here. 